Brain mapping essentially is very new, so there are so much that's been discovered, but many of them has not been translated into medical practice. However, the, there are some diseases that are benefited more than others. Epilepsy is one of them. Pre-surgical planning for epilepsy is really dependent on the kind of uh, techniques that we use. Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease particularly. These conditions, there has been a lot of work on these conditions, particularly for early diagnosis again and for monitoring the disease. And it, we are now moving into predicting the prognosis of these conditions also. From a philosophical point of view, what makes the brain special in comparison to other organs is that it forms the physical structure associated with the mind. Brain constitutes 2% of the total body weight, which consumes almost 20% of the total energy. This is while 60 to 80% of the energy is used to support communications among cells. Brain mapping is a set of neuroscience techniques predicted on the mapping of biological quantities or properties onto spatial representations of the human or non-human brain, resulting in maps. And brain mapping is our way to understand the brain. And we can do this now non-invasively, i.e. without giving harmful chemicals, without giving harmful compounds. Um, we can do this non-invasively, in humans, in vivo, in short amounts of time, with relatively little financial investment. We can actually look at the brain while it's performing tasks. It's very, very important uh, I think, to, to realize that brain is governing a lot, lot of uh, what we think and a uh, lot of diseases and so, so it's a central part of a person. While unlocking the secrets of the brain may take many years, researchers say it could lead to possible cures. Researchers say that through brain mapping they would eventually have a large library of brain maps that will help them compare brains of people who suffer from similar diseases. This library will help doctors across the world give personalized treatment to each patient. Samakujuri Press TV, Tehran.